Oh no. Um oil's leaking. Ugh. Hold on, we got kitty litter. There we go. Oop. I gotta get used to the GoPro on the top here. Well, I'll clean this up when I get home. This is good enough right now. I always get people asking me, do you have, uh, you have cats? We notice you have, a uh, kitty litter. Lots of it. I'm like, nope. I use it to clean up oil. <laughs> um, and then I just keep the buckets because they're nice. Those, uh, tidy cats buckets, you can do a lot with them. They, they close nice and hold stuff in them I like it oh so we're gonna go clean the bike today which means I need some rags by the way never use tire foam on your bike that'd be bad don't do it don't do it um I think just the rags is plenty I have some microfibers but I left them in my other vehicle or yeah in the gti which i took back to the shop and so it's getting stuff and things done to it mm -hmm. we're gonna rinse this off here's that bird shit i was talking about see we're gonna go clean that off spray this bike down especially since it got caught in the rain the other day you can check that moto vlog out up here in the corner What's up, sons? It's Blind Rod with Son of a Tech once again. Today we're going to go clean the bike. Maybe talk a little bit about the cryptocurrency market. <laughs> and uh, Bitrix. So about an hour ago, I got a notification that all of these coins are not going to be supported anymore on Bitrix. Um, which sucks so there's like 32 coins that you need to go check out the list and see if you got any on bitrix i had a few um some examples are stores so s-t-o-r-j i think go uh go bite as well is another one and uh yeah they didn't really they said it's because of regulations and they're not fully pulling out of U.S. markets, but uh, because of certain regulations, certain coins and currencies are not allowed to be traded in the U.S. I didn't have a chance to track down uh, which regulations are uh, influencing Bitrix to do this, uh, but that's a pretty big deal. So I don't know. At this point, like we need to figure out who the policy makers and decision makers are that are putting these policies in and get them voted out or i don't know write a letter to the congressman it's it's just getting ridiculous like i think i understand like the venezuelan thing which we talked about uh maybe like last year sometime i guess i get that because that's a competing you know currency at the same time like I remember specifically during the um, during my high school career, which is between 2000 and 2004, after the uh, after 9/11, a lot of people were investing in like the Iraqi dollar, etc. But I guess that was in direct relation or support with, of course, like us democratizing them and so on and so forth. And maybe because Venezuela's not like that, blah blah blah. But Competing currencies, I mean, it is something that um, can be of, I guess, national sec security and sec uh, concern, I should say. Um, it's like when you play Civilization <laughs> and you got like, you can go like all your diplomatic areas and ways to win and then you could also just do war or a mix of both and blah, blah, blah. 
I don't know enough about it. I just wanted to let you guys know that you should probably hop into your Bitrix account. Uh, cancel any orders for the list of coins. I'll leave the link to their blog post down in the description below. You can click that and go see uh, which coins are affected and get rid of them. But I'm going to get my bike cleaned up here. We'll have to probably take the GoPro off of the bike. That'd probably be good. It is waterproof. So maybe we don't. Maybe we just roll with it. Everything here is waterproof. I am just going to leave my jacket on and shit. Because why not? I'm going to pull off the grate. That's better. Oh yeah. And I will take my keys off. Because I don't think this Nissan key is waterproof. Samsung Galaxy S8 is water resistant. But I don't feel like getting it all fucked up. I'll open my lid. We can talk while I clean, I guess. That's not terrible. The popos are out today. The police station's right down here. So I usually have a, something to plug the pipe up with, but I don't know what I did with mine. It's been so long. I think I just need to go down to, um, go down to the shop and get one. But we'll just be careful not to hit it. And uh, I think we'll survive at this point. Approved. Heck yeah. I don't want to turbo dry. The fuck is that about? Give me some high pressure soap. All right. Pipes are still hot. Probably should have let it cool down a little bit. So one thing you can accidentally do if your bike's really, really hot, by the way, is if you throw cold water on it after a hard ride, we barely just rode over here, like maybe two minutes, so I'm not too worried about it right now. But it is actually a possibility to crack your block, so I'm gonna get my bag out of the way before I just get everything in my bag wet. Oop, bonk my head, there we go. So I threw the GoPro on the top now. And then the radiator usually when I go from behind, but um, sometimes I'll do like a side. I'm not getting that out, huh? Get off of there, you bug. So I had the GoPro session completely submerged at one point. Yeah, let's get rid of that dirt. Oh yeah, so you just want to make sure that like if you ride, you give the bike ample time to cool down before you wash it. Because it is entirely possible that if you surprise it with extreme cold, that you can compromise the integrity of the motor. Ah, oh, we just hit the pipe a little. It's fine. Exactly what I was trying not to do. And I hit it. Is it, you guys ever have that experience where like the exact thing you're trying not to do is something like you just accidentally do? Maybe because you're like focusing on it too much or something. Feel pretty good with the wash down process here. Luckily she wasn't like crazy dirty or anything. Let's, let's go turbo dryer. <laughs> what the deuce is this? This can't work. Turbo dryer. Hey, that ain't bad for a bike. I don't think I'd want to do a car with this, but hey. Pretty good. It's pretty dope. Look at that. I got some scratches on the tank. I need to get one of those things for... I. They make so many of them, they're silly. But we should definitely get a tank protector. This is my new favorite car wash. Coming here for the turbo dryer. Love it. Dry off my tires a little. I know, I'm supposed to get a new pipe. Don't worry about that once the GTI is done. I need to get some stiffer springs for the front too. 
I really wish these were, uh, it had an invor inverted fork set up. I haven't looked to see what uh, Jixer front end swaps are available on these yet. I know on the old ones you could do it pretty easy. <laughs> you lube the chain up after that too. I am impressed with the turbo dryer though. Look at this. Ah! <laughs> Turbo dryer is where it's at, boys. I think that's going to call it. I don't even think I have to wipe anything down. Oh, I guess the GoPro got a little wonky. Let's wipe it down. And I think we're going to run and grab some uh, fuel. There we go. Now you guys can see me good. Yeah. Cool. Tires aren't too wet, we'll just take it easy for a little bit and we should be good to go. Hey. One swipe wash. <sighs> Probably even wasted some of that. Alright, I'm gonna leave my wallet in my back pocket for now. So we're just gonna roll over and get some fuel for the week. Get all set up so we can Get to and from work. How much fuel have we used? This week? Uh, I'll wipe down the wheels later. At the house or something. And then I guess a tank protector is something we're going for at some point. Might be too late. Nah, we're good. We'll just grab one. Damn belt buckles. <laughs> Kickstand. Let's get some fuel. Uh. Hey, we weren't declined. High five. Give me the good stuff. Nine of three. A whopping 665 to fill up today. I can afford that. Is Cycle Gear even open on Sunday? Go ahead. That's what I want to find out. Let's find out. I might go get a tank protector right now. Hey, it's open. Let's get some directions. And head that way. Let me get my uh, my handy dandy charger plugged in. Oh, what, what, oh! I hit the button with the. Uh, I think we're just gonna get on 281, right? Oh no! It says uh, where's Bach? Perfect. Yeah, so I got this. Uh, I got the little adapter for the battery tender. Let you charge your phone. And I'm also really bad with directions, so we can see where we're going now. I want to buy that belt helmet. They have it on sale at Cycle Gear. I don't know if it's actually on sale, and we are not going to go this way. The light will never detect a motorcycle. And I'll just be sitting there for five hours. All right, so we are off to Cycle Gear to get some sort of tank protection. Don't ride without protection, boys. Oh, it feels good to be riding. There we go. We're riding. Our shit's charged. We're charging. It's like all the amenities you would ever need these days. Back in the day when I was riding, back in my day, you just had to memorize all the fucking roads. <laughs> 
And I could get to Cycle Gear, but I probably would have done something dumb, like 281 to 410 to I-10 or some shit. No, that's wrong, because we've actually driven without uh, GPS from Cycle Gear to the house. So we got to figure it out. Oh, what was it I was going to talk about? There was something, boys. And then I forgot again. I was going to talk about that. I was like, it's too loud. I'm, I'm just going to wait. Oh, the GoPro Hero 7. So an update on that. If you guys didn't notice uh, on yesterday's video, um, it was in 4x3, which also, like, when it cut off, it, like, I couldn't get a good perspective which is why the camera's on the top of the helmet now. But I was also talking about 4K 30. Um, and actually it's not 4K 30. So it's not that the 21K was 4x3, it's that it was in 4x3 mode. So those are my options, but 4K in 4x3, which I guess is 4K by 4K, which is pretty crazy high resolution. It's 30 FPS. Uh, which totally makes sense. So we actually are recording in 4K 60 now on the GoPro Hero 7 and then on the session it's just the 1080p uh, 60 and I think that's fine. I'm super pumped to see what the 4K 60 looks like. Um, should be pretty lit. Uh, and then you know we'll have the face cam in significantly lower resolution not that I'm like too concerned with that but that's pretty impressive 4k uh, 4k 60 on the GoPro that's uh, better than any other camera I own and so I'm actually looking forward to maybe playing with it on uh, doing b-roll on products and stuff like what's the point of using anything else if that's the case I just need to get the mount that will hook it up to my tripods etc which I did not do and I want the selfie stick we really should have just gone to Best Buy and got the selfie stick and whatever converter for the tripod is and tried out some uh, b-roll it actually might be the most simple way to do everything and then I could sell those other cameras. I don't think I'd sell the A6000. I think the A6000 for pictures is amazing. I should say it's amazing because it makes it fucking easy for someone dumb like me with uh, photography to get good shots. And then the other one, what is it? The Canon? Is it a Canon? It's a... Uh, you can get some really good like depth of field shots. I like how at Best Buy I was like, uh, yo, can I get the, the mic converter for the GoPro? And she's like, oh, we don't have that. But the mic on it is plenty sufficient and you should try it out because you might like it and you might not need anything else. I was like, it's on the outside of my helmet. <laughs> what, what are you talking about? There's no... It's not going to work like that. Look, here's the deal. If a customer asks you for a specific product, I'm just saying, nine times out of ten, they have an exact reason of why they're asking for that product. And if you don't have it, you can just say, sorry, we don't have that. We could order it for you. Because it's Best Buy. Of course they could fucking order it for me. She didn't even offer that. You know, you'll just have to get that somewhere else. Uh, okay. Thanks for the help, lady. Thanks for the help, lady. Oh, yeah. The back way to Cycle Gear. All right. We'll be back. Okie dokie, boys. So I got the little tank protector. Gotta go leave it in the shade for a little bit before I put it on. Thing is, I got this like nice white stripe. Should just take the white stripe off. Take all the 
wondering how hard that would be. And then maybe my bike would look a little bit different than everybody else's. Just straight black and red. I want to take these stupid Suzuki emblems off too. A credit card should do that. As far as these decals go, maybe just like a heat gun. Can't be that hard. So we recorded for about 33 minutes and the session's rocking like a champ. The session can go for like five, six hours in my experience so far. Which is awesome. Apparently, the GoPro Hero 7 recording at 4K60 can rock about 30 minutes, 45 minutes. It's on one bar right now. So we're probably going to lose uh, signal from it. Which means if I want to record in 4K, it does have replaceable battery, which the session does not. So the positive thing is we could feasibly oh i'm sweating like a dog um we could feasibly just grab a few batteries and charge them up and throw them in the backpack i mean there are times when i ride for like an hour at a time though way longer than that a few hours so it's really just not going to be that feasible without coming up with like an external battery pack hooked up to the helmet of some sort oh not this way derp hold on keep going straight take a left up here so i'm a little disappointed right now to be honest with you the external battery pack is also just not going to be that fun to um mount or anything I mean if it was the face cam it wouldn't be as big of a deal because I could literally probably just rig up a system similar to what I got with the GoPro right now well no it would be like I could literally just plug the plug this into the GoPro instead of into my phone and then it would charge it um so it is quite possible that what happens is the GoPro Hero 7 gets moved to the face cam and the session goes back on to the helmet. And that's purely just going to be based off of battery. Oh, we're at a light that's never going to change for us. Our only real hope is that it changes for the Acura and then it goes through a quick stint for us. Balls. So I'm not super happy with the GoPro Hero 7 right now. So they got to go, but I'm not sure it's going to let me go. There's a Suburban behind me now. I'm going to say the Suburban saved the day. But I think it was just going to go in that circle. Luckily. Oh, let's get moving. Get the wind blowing through that jacket. Feels good. My knee hurts. Donuts and kolaches. Shipley's does have some of the best kolaches. There's really good kolaches at the little hole in the wall donut shop place by my house. Duncan still has the best coffee though. And the best price on coffee. He is dumb cheap. Compared to like all those places that are way overcharging like Starbucks and shit. The only K cups I found that are any good are the bulletproof coffee. And the problem is that I'm always running out of them. Because I do that thing where, like, I buy drinks. Like, even if it's, like, a Coca-Cola Zero or whatever. I'll drink the whole fucking pack in, like, a day. And I'm like, bad, don't do that. And when I get, like, bulletproof coffee, like, I'll drink, <laughs> like, six pods a day. 
and then it's gone after like two days and I'm like what am I doing no wonder I couldn't sleep yesterday <laughs> So I'm going to look up what the projected like record time is on the GoPro Hero 7 Black. We might even just have to like, I, I'm wondering if like the battery life significantly increases at 1080, 60. And I don't think that there is a huge reason to do moto vlogs in 4K 60. And so if that increases the battery life by like a double, then that may be worth it. But definitely the charging plan will work if we threw it as the main cam and then threw the session on top of the helmet. Also, I'd be a lot less sad if the session flies off my helmet <laughs> at some point. Oh, it's a wonderful day in the neighborhood. Won't you be mine? Won't you be mine? Won't you be my neighbor? Don't. All right, so that wind was pretty bad. That was really bad wind. I didn't like it one bit. Bicycle, bicycle, I want to ride my bicycle, I want to ride my bi, I want to ride my bicycle, I want to ride it where I like. I forgot what I was going to talk about, oh, Bitrix, yeah, let's wrap up the Bitrix topic real quick before we uh, end the vlog, so, um, I had mentioned like make sure you log into your Bitrix account and make sure you don't have any of the whatever 32 cryptocurrencies in the list that you can find in the description below. But you might also want to consider the fact that any you're holding in any other type of storage, whether that's cold storage or just storage off of the actual exchange itself, um, that if you have one of those currencies, you may want to consider getting rid of it now because if if Bitrix is changing that I mean yeah you can VPN and like trade on a different network with a different account blah 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 whatever right um, that being said it's gonna be pretty annoying and difficult um, or maybe just more annoying by difficult it's relatively difficult right so I definitely recommend considering just dumping whatever you got um, at the same time I'm assuming there's going to be a lot of sell orders for all 32 of those. Which means it's a high probability that you lose some money right now. And so if that's you on one of those, I apologize. That sucks. I mean, it's not my fault. But you know what I mean. I feel bad for you, bro. Um, I'm probably going to take a hit on stores. I don't think I have anything else. I think storage is the only one significant that I got that I got to worry about. And maybe I do just hold it and say whatever, fuck it. Trade it out later in some other form or fashion. I don't really know yet. And let me know if you guys know what regulations are making this happen over with Bitrix too. I'd be super curious to know that. Is it other governmental ties? Like, what's going on? Thanks for watching today. I hope to see you guys in the chat tomorrow. And I will see you next Tuesday. Brop, brop. Oh, pothole.